finally, their cell growth also occurs. The G1, or also, it's also known as the GAP1 uh, stage, is followed by S. the S stage, which S stands for synthesis. And this term refers to the synthesis of DNA. And then the stage immediately prior to mitosis is the G2 or GAP2 stage. And in this particular stage, the cell synthesizes the proteins needed for cell division. And then this stage leads into the into mitosis, which is divided into the four stages or five stages uh, more recently, uh, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. This is a lab on mitosis and meiosis. This is a structure of mitosis. Okay, you're gonna, it's going to take you through the, the, the division of cells. Okay, we have a bead lab that's going with it, and we, we want you to learn how to do the bead lab. Um, mitosis is um, division of, in stomatic cells and single-celled organism, the nucleus divides by mitosis into two daughter nuclei, which have the same number of chromosomes and the same gene as the parent. So you're going from one cell with one nucleus all the way over here to two, two identical cells, okay? And meiosis, where's my, my meiosis is this. You're going from one cell to four cells. You're going from two in to one in, okay? In multicellular organisms, the preparation for sexual reproduction, a type of nuclear division is called mitosis. Um, in mitosis, certain cells in ovaries and testes, okay, divide twice, but the chromosomes only repl replicate once. This process results in four daughter nuclei with, the com with new combinations of chromosomes. Now what we want you to understand in this lab is what the DNA is actually doing in meiosis and mitosis. We have, we have beads made out here of what's going on with the DNA. And I'm gonna have Dr. Gardner help me with this, okay? Okay, four, we doing mitosis first or meiosis? Which one? Mitosis? Let's yeah, let's do mitosis first. Okay. This is mitosis. Okay, so we've got several stages. Prophase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay. Wow. If you look at this lengthways, you're going to see that the four... For the first stage, which is prophase, first stage. Um, you go through a G1, a G2, an S stage, um, a G1, S stage, a G2, and then you start at prophase, and then you go to prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. So, in prophase, your, your DNA is all wrapped up in the nucleus. It's just all combined up like this. Um, what you want to know is that the nuclear envelope will start breaking up, okay? And then the DNA will start coming together, okay? And these things in the middle are your centromeres. They're your centromeres. And these little things are like your little alleles that are on the DNA. Um, these are called sister chromatids. You want to look at these. They are sister chromatids. And I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can see exactly what the DNA is doing. Now, um, the next one, when they line up at the plate, when they line up at the plate, that is called metaphase, okay? And then what will happen is 
you'll get something like this where your um, your your chromatid your chromosomes are attached to centromeres. These are your centromeres, and they're pulled apart at the plates. Okay, so what's going to happen here is your 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 chromosomes are going to be pulled apart. Okay, and th it'll all be at the same time. It'll be simultaneously that they're pulled apart. Okay. And then it's going to start dividing it. You're going to have like this right here. This right here where the cell is going to start coming together for, um, for telophase. Telophase and then cytokinesis. Okay, these, these are going to come together. They're going to make their own. And then you're going to have two different phases here. Okay, you see how the, the DNA is divided? And then right in here, the cell will start dividing, and that'll be cytokinesis. And the, pres the main landmark for cytokinesis is going to be the presence of the cleavage furrow, right. which is present here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the beginning. Okay, here we go with mitosis. Okay, what you need to know about mitosis is you have a cell full of, of DNA. And just like, just like meiosis, all of the uh, DNA in the beginning, it, uh, before prophase, is all in the, 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 the nucleus wound up. Then it starts to divide and come together as sister chromatids, okay? You're going to see it happen something along the lines of this, okay? And um, we'll have a phase called... Uh, metaphase where they're going to line up at the plates. You're going to see it something along the lines of this is what represents metaphase. You've got um, sister chromatids that are lined along the plates and what's going to happen at this time during um, metaphase one is, is it's going to synapse. Okay, some of the father and some of the mother DNA is going to switch over. Switch two of these with this. And there, no, 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 just the beads. Just the beads. Yeah. There we go. Switch. Mm. Just move two of these over here to over here. It's going to synapse. Oh, okay. So it's going to synapse. Okay. Okay. On the ends. There we go. I see. There you go. You got it. It's going to synapse, where some of the DNA is going to exchange out in synapse. A process called crossing over. Okay, good job. Okay. And then, in an this is metaphase one. And then in anaphase, anaphase one, these two sister chromatids are going to go to both sides of the pole. Okay? Two sister chromatids is going to go to both sides of the pole. Now, and then they're going to divide. Okay, DNA over here. You're going to make one cell out of this DNA and one cell out of this DNA. Okay? That's the process of crossing over. Then, the process after telekinesis and cyto, uh, telophase and cytokinesis, which means the cell's going to divide. What's going to happen is this DNA right here that has changed is going to divide again, okay? Where it's going to line up at the plate. It's going to go through prophase, anaphase, and telophase two. And this is going to open up and divide like this. So in the end, what's going to happen is you're going to have, oh, where's the other two? You're going to have four cells with different DNA, okay? The DNA has changed somewhat from the first to the end because you, they have, the DNA has crossed over. It's, you've got, you're going to have four cells with this DNA in it. And none of them are going to be identical. You're going to go from two end to one end and have four different cells of DNA.